In this video, we're going to learn about how to combine data from two columns into a single column. So far, we've learned how to extract information from a single column, either by pulling a piece out or by splitting a column into pieces, and how to make wide data longer. But we often need to do the opposite of both of those approaches as well. And so over the next couple of videos, we'll look at how to do this in the context of analyzing the number of stems of each species on each plot. And this is a, a common thing to do uh, in ecological analyses. And we're going to start <clears throat> where we left off in the previous video with this clean data set. So now let's assume that this is the data set that we've been given. This is the way that we've created our data. And now <clears throat> we want to analyze counts of the number of stems by plot. And so let's go ahead and get those counts to start with. We'll do that using some of the dplyr that we learned about earlier in the year. And we'll call this data stem counts and we will take our clean data and we'll use a data manipulation pipeline so we'll run our pipe and we want the counts by both plot and species and so we need to group by actually three columns here because our species information is stored in a combination of the genus and species columns. So we'll group by plot ID and genus and species and that will give us a group for each unique combination of plot and species. And then we'll pipe that into the summarize function, where we then do a calculation for each of those groups. And we'll create a column called count that counts the number of rows, uh, because we've got one row per stem here, right? So per stem at that 1.6 meter measurement. And when we do that, we'll see that our stem counts <clears throat> table looks like this. And so we've got our plot ID, we've got one row per plot per species with the count in it. But it turns out that while this is a great tidy form to store this data in, some of the software required for running analyses on this kinds of data requires it to be in a cross tab or wide format where the site or the plot in this case occurs on each row so we have one row per plot and then we have one column per species and so how do we get that kind of data out of our nice long tidy data the first step in this case is we need to get our genus and species information back together in a single column, which we do using the unite function. And so we'll call this stem counts wide. And we're going to take our stem counts data as the starting point, And we're going to pipe it into the unite function from tidier. And so this is basically the opposite of the separate function. It's going to take columns and put them together. And it takes four arguments. The first is the data frame that we're working with. We're passing that in through the pipe. The next is the name of the new column that we're going to create. So species underscore ID in quotes. And then it takes the names of the columns that we want to combine together as separate arguments. And so in this case, it's the genus and species columns. And if we run this, 
and then look at stem counts wide, we'll see that we've got our plot ID, we have our two combined columns, and they're by default combined with an underscore, uh, and then our counts. So that's the idea behind how we combine columns. Uh, we use the unite function in tidier. We can also optionally uh, provide a different separator character, which could be nothing if we just wanted to squish things completely together. Uh, and that takes uh, the data frame, where the columns we want to unite are, the name of the new column we want to create, and the columns that we want to combine together to create that new column. And in the next video, we'll learn how to do the next step, which is to then create this wide or cross-tabulated version of this data set with one row for each plot, one column for each species ID, and then the values populated by the counts. Ooh, very interesting. That's all we've learned. That seems uninspiring. Come on, small Ethan. Get it together here. We really need to... No, you're just leaving now? No, I, I need your... I need your help. Come back. Please. Anyone? Oh, there we go. Welcome back. Come on. You can do this. Say species. Say say counts by plot and species. You're going to say species. That's true. That's true. Yes, good job, little Ethan.